Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be going over the Swagman XC2 bike rack here on a 2021 Buick Encore. So this is what the XC2 looks like installed in the back of our Encore here. And we only got one bike attached, but it should be pretty much the same for two bikes. Now for starters, they're pretty much going to block your backup camera. You're going to get some slight visibility between the frame here, but that's going to be the case for pretty much any bike rack. And then in regards to the rear windshield here, the rear hatch glass, you're going to be able to see most, you're going to be able to retain most of your visibility there. The handlebars are going to get away a little bit, but overall still going to maintain some of the safety features on your vehicle. Now the XC2 is definitely one of the more cost effective options on the market. It is a two bike rack and it's gonna come in there at a very low price point. Now, especially for platform style racks there, there's not too many that are cheaper than this. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles as some of the other brands that charge a little bit more, but again, that's because it's got a lower price point here and it's still a great rack. So this is a platform style rack, a frame out platform style rack in particular, that's gonna be great for bikes that have fenders on there cause you can't actually use a tire hold on those. Now this is just a standard road bike, but if you have a mountain bike, that's gonna work great on this rack as well. Now the one thing that you do kind of have to knock it for is the weight capacity. It's only going to be rated for 35 pounds. So any bikes heavier than that, you'll have to switch over to a little bit of a beefier platform style rack. But other than that, this rack is very accommodating here. We have the ratcheting mechanism that's going to go up and down here. It's going to secure all different types of frame types. If you have an alternative frame, it's going to work great with that as well. And our wheelbase adjustments here are going to, again, allow for a much greater variety of bikes to be carried. Now the rack is pretty easy to use. It's easy to get your bikes on and off. It's a platform style rack, so we don't have to lift them nearly as high as we would for a hanging style rack, which is really nice. Most platform style racks, however, come in at a pretty hefty price point. This one here, as we said, very cost effective. So we're gonna start by removing the two ratchets here. So just take the first one, press that button, pull it up. And then we're going to remove the second one but before we do that we want to make sure that we have a decent hold on our bike here because once you remove that it could fall back towards the vehicle or to us so just going to press that button slide right off and then we're just going to lift over the rack and then out the front so now that we have our bike off i just went ahead and threw our hooks back on here so you can kind of see that this could create a potential issue if we needed to get into the hatch of our vehicle well, thankfully, this upright here can actually fold to the either side, which is going to allow us for access into the trunk. Therefore, we don't have to take the bike rack off completely to get into our trunk. Just pull that pin and then re-secure it down. And now you can see we have plenty of access into our trunk here. We can get things in or out as we need. And then we can go ahead and close it. We can leave it like this position when we're riding around town or when we need to reattach our bikes. All we need to do is just rotate the upright back into position, re-secure the pin, remove the hooks, and then load your bike back on. Now, if we take a look at the actual connection to our vehicle, so this rack is compatible with both one and a quarter inch and two inch hitches. Now, that's one and a quarter inch is gonna be the only one you're using on your Encore here, but if you have another vehicle with a larger hitch size, you can still utilize this rack by installing the clamp-on adapter that it comes with. Now we do have an anti-rattle hitch bolt here as well with our rack, and this is going to cut down the movement of your bikes on the rack and your rack inside the receiver tube. So it's going to keep everything nice and secure back there. Just go ahead and test that out. I'm going to grab the shank and move it, and you can see I'm actually moving the vehicle. There isn't any movement whatsoever inside the actual receiver tube, and that's due to the anti-rattle bolt. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side-to-side -side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then, onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway. And that's going to do it today for our look at the Swagman XC2 bike rack here on a 2021 Buick Encore.